Hey Busters, welcome back to another Mobile Suit Ensemble video. So today, we'll be taking a look at number 136, Ball, from the Mobile Ensemble series, part 21. So yeah, this is a fan favorite um, in Mobile Suit, well, just in the lore, and I think they did a pretty good job with this. You know, um, this one was a really fun build. Um, lots of parts, like even this ball part here, there are pieces in there you have to build, so really nice. Um, it's got all the boosters, and of course, each booster is a joint peg, not joint, joint point hole, so you can customize it any way you like. So, you know, if you take his arms here, and say you just want to plug it in here, that's okay too. You know, customization parts everywhere, so they designed this with uh, definitely customization in mind. But yeah. There's honestly, um, there's not much to say about this guy. Really nice. Um, you got the can in here, which can go all the way around. It's just on a ball joint or a pig. And you can go up this high, and then it's hindered just by this part. And yeah, low. You know, all of these are colored, so you got a nice clear here, and you can even see inside detailing in there. Nice thruster. Unfortunately, the thruster here is kind of in the way, so like that so oops, popped off this part here of the ball so unfortunately um you can't really do much in terms of uh putting a it on a stand so let's see if i get a stand here and where's that here's one so unfortunately even if you come um this one does not come with a stand even so even though it is a normal one so i guess which is part of course for most of the um mobile armor so it without a stand it doesn't quite do much however um this oops, sorry, let me just play, 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 pick this back however this one is a peg joint here itself so if you say had i think um this connector joint from way back in S mobile suit ensemble series oh i don't know this one's for the um can't remember what it's called for the uh, hazel series the booster part if you have that i think Oh, no, no, this one was a bit thicker. Uh, this hole was a... This one was a bit bigger, right? Yeah, this one's actually a bit bigger than that normal one, so it won't work. But if you actually had other um, peg holes, same, you, uh, one of the customization pieces, you could just peg it here and then hook it up there and have it like that, so... But yeah, in terms of articulation, everything is just on a peg joint. So there, the arms are able to move on the claw, so you can get that much. As you can see here, it's just on pegs so let's just move that you can have them like that and yeah so overall there's not much to say about this guy um lots of people like him um really fun build uh, really satisfying and yeah uh overall up uh, and oh i guess uh this part moves down too so you can have it like that if you wanted it if you want it just like straight like that so whichever way you really want your ball to be posed. Um, but yeah, as I said, um, it is slightly small. And then if you're not a fan of ball um, or customizing uh, your Mobile Suit Ensemble series stuff, um, he might be a slight letdown. Um, he is a slightly smaller figure. I mean, if you, let's say, compare him to in the same, um, in the same set, say the hazel outlaw he is much smaller than all the other guys in terms of volume and stuff you know and of course like i said everything's customizable so you can just take this pig pig it here and you got something like that you know if you had a pig sticking out honestly that one might work oops nope <laughs> or it might but just a bit hard but yeah like let's be move this guy back sorry busters sorry about the busters yeah overall really nice figure um that's pretty much it i have to say for this guy busters a really short video um in terms of pros um really nice figure lots of customization uh parts lots of peg holes um great for army building if you need it um however good luck um this guy is slightly popular so um, here in Japan on the secondhand markets, um, they're selling for about a thousand yen each, or generally maybe even 800, so a little bit more than double. However, um, 
the sites I use, Medicati, all, that also includes shipping and stuff, so yeah. Um, so a bit hard for uh, army building as it's not that, I guess, um, what is it, unpopular? It's slightly popular, but yeah. Um, in terms of cons, um, personally, I do think like the arms here are a little bit too big. Uh, I know this, uh, the Ensemble series is kind of like an SD style. Um, not completely chibi style, but the, like the normal, the new generation SD style. However, I do think the arms are a little bit too big in terms of proportion. So that's just uh, something I have against that. But, you know, personal preference. So definitely not something you should take um, or make a point against if you actually enjoy this um, stylization or proportion. So, but yeah, overall, not bad for 500 yen. It's okay. Um... In terms of this set, I would definitely recommend the Hazel Outlaw, or maybe the uh, most pr mo uh, mass-produced um, New Gundam, or maybe even like the GP1, although that one's a bit simpler. Um, honestly, even the Primrose is kind of better. Um, in terms, at least for me personally, I think this one is the weakest um, one in this and in this set, uh, Part 21. Uh, however, that's just because I don't, I don't quite personally like this proportion i think if it was proportioned slightly more to my taste i would like it a lot more but it, at least currently in this proportion even the weapon set that comes with the primrose uh, i enjoy a bit more so however um you know but i think for those who are okay with the proportions it is a really nice toy and for 500 yen really fun little desktop thing for you to have around you know just have it on your uh, laptop and just have it floating that's really nice honestly so uh definitely um any cons i have against this is personally per personal preference and nothing to say against the build itself but yeah um that's about it busters there's not much else to say so if there's anything else you wanted to know more about or something i skimmed over or maybe said incorrectly uh, please let me know down in the comment section below and i would greatly appreciate that and of course i'll get back to you with that and as always, guys, thanks for watching this video and hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully this helped you decide whether you want to get this or not. As always, this is Buster Kun here, off to take his last holiday. <laughs>